What is up everybody? I hope y'all having an awesome day. Before we even get started with today's video, I just wanna say a big thanks to everybody who has subscribed to my channel, dating all the way back to the beginnings with the G8. Really, I do appreciate you guys subscribing. And for you who haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because there's even more awesome videos gonna be coming on the channel with the new car that I just got at the beginning of this week. Speaking of which, for you guys who follow me on Instagram, I think you guys know what vehicle I'm talking about. At the beginning of this week, you can probably see it behind me actually. At the beginning of this week, I ended up getting a 2017 Chevrolet SS. So yeah, the car is awesome looking. It's in red, it matches the Corvette. It is so awesome. And I'll get this right out here right now. I am gonna be selling the Pontiac G8. Just not yet, I have a few videos to make with it, but it is gonna be going at some point in the future here. So that's a little bit sad, but I am getting another Holden sitting right behind me here, so it's not too bad. So basically, this all started, I believe it was beginning of Monday, and I was just kind of surfing the internet. I noticed that Chevrolet, GM, they all had this 20% off on certain vehicles. Um, and it just happened to be the SS was on that. So it was 20% off the MSRP. Um, there was another rebate as well. So it ended up being close to $10,000 off a brand new Chevrolet SS. Uh, I found this red one, which I wanted red, and I wanted an automatic. I'll get to that a little bit later. But I ended up finding this red one, and of all places, Medved Chevrolet, which is where I bought my 2016 Z06. Now you gotta remember, at this point, I was not expecting to buy another vehicle here. I was not expecting to get another vehicle for the uh, for the channel or anything. I was completely just, you know, sitting there thinking, yeah, that's cool. And then started thinking about it. I, down the road, I was planning on getting an SS, but with 17 being the end of the production for Holden, for the whole SS, for the V, v VF Commodores, you know, that is the end. I thought, well, I'll have to get a used one and I don't want to get used. I, I've bought used cars before. They're fine for, you know, the value of them, but there's a lot of issues that can go on with them. So I, I didn't want to buy used. I'm thinking, well, if I do this down the road, who knows what's going to be left out there? And also, you know, how much are they going to be? Cause it's the end of them. They're surely going to be MSRP. So when this deal came out, I'm like, Man, I gotta go down there and talk with them. So me and my dad, we went down there. My dad's my uh, my partner in crime when it comes to this stuff. We love to do this. We love wheeling and dealing both of us. So we go down there, we start talking to them, uh, and we decide, let's go ahead and do it. Let's get the SS. I'm gonna be selling the G8, but the SS is just, it's like the G8, but all the stuff I wanted to do to the G8, meaning there's Brembo brakes, mag ride, more power, you know, different interior of more up-to-date technology. It is an update. It's the same, but it's different. The G8's a fantastic car. You can't beat them, especially on the used market. You can't beat a G8 for the, you get a six liter V8 for crying out loud for like under $25,000 in the used market for a really excellent one. And you can't beat them. I'm not knocking the G8 at all. I love the G8 and actually I'm feeling like, should I get rid of the G8? I have to for, you know, funding this thing but it's, it's gonna be a sad day when the G8 leaves. So the G8's a fantastic car, but this just has more tech stuff, I guess you say. A little more, you know, technology. It has the LS3 in it. It's like the GXP G8s. So it's just a flat out awesome car. So here's the spec. It has just, it has every option actually on it. SS's are weird. They only come with two options. So you get a sunroof, or you can get the uh, you can get sunroof and the rear spare tire, full size spare, and it's an actual wheel like you get here. Uh, so those are the two options. These some these things come pretty fully loaded. You can also opt for the manual. I did the auto just because I wanted this to be more of a GT car. The manual's nice, but if I want a manual transmission experience, I'll go hop in the Corvette and drive that around. But as you can see, this is called Red Hot Two. 
just an absolutely fabulous color on the car and really these cars you have to see them in person to see all the details of them uh, you know like a lot of people I thought they looked you know kind of Malibu ish you know they could have did I still agree they could have did some more aggressive styling for 17 but really it looks really nice it's really sleek um, you know you have air intake ducts right here for the brakes uh, just it, these little details you do not see on pictures so it really does you know make sense to look at one of these cars in person you have the hood bulge right there the vents on the hood and the red really accents the body lines well uh, it's just I think it's actually a really good looking car I mean I wouldn't have got it if I didn't think it was a nice looking car it really is and the chrome yeah the, the chrome it's a love it or hate it thing I'm not you know disgusted by the chrome like some people are I think it kind of fits with the bright red paint some people do do the blackout kit I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the front of it because right now I actually quite like the way the chrome does look on this but maybe I'm old school that way so if we go on to the inside now this is where the differences between the G8 and the SS really shine um, the G8 you know it's going to be a nine year old car coming up so the interior is nice but you know this is definitely updated but there's a lot of similarities the build quality is, is just as good as the G8 the G8 actually I don't have any interior rattles on the G8 so this thing uh, should be just great but if you look the leather seats you know suede inserts it says SS on there you know this interior is really nice of course the automatic like I said before uh, the big thing for 16 and 17 cars is you get four-wheel Brembros I believe those came out in 15 but the big thing for the 16 and 17s is the dual mode the bimodal exhaust here as you see here this thing sounds amazing sounds just like my g8 with the Borla exhaust on it a little bit more pops to it but it really it's it's really a nice sounding exhaust so probably not going to change it out just because it's already just so nice sounding um, on my G8, they have that whole Borla cat back, and that thing sounds pretty amazing on the G8. The G8 has aged very well, and the SS is, you know, just kind of are more of the updated form of that. The G8s are just as quick as the SS's. The G8s look a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I dare to say that. But when these, when they did the 20% back, I was like, man, I'm gonna be doing this in the future. I can get one where I'm $10,000 ahead of depreciation basically. So yeah, the whole overall design of the car is just, I really like it. I'm Actually these wheels are growing on me. Um, a lot of people don't like them, but this whole car you have to see it in person just because it's just, there's so many small details to it that you can't see on photos or pick up from the video um, like we're doing right now. But I'm probably going to ceramic coat it, probably get the Adams ceramic coating for it, do the whole thing, polish it out, ceramic coat it, because uh, I love red, and this <laughs> red is just so awesome on this car. I was going to get black, possibly, but I'm like, there's so many black ones. There was only like 70 red ones on Cars.com in the States. I'm like, man, the red plus the red Corvette. So I guess I can do the uh, do the hashtag red crew like a... Uh, Shmi 150 did with the hashtag blue crew so I guess I'll start that up but uh it's just a it's a fabulous car can't wait to get through the break-in period about 600 miles or so is what it's going to take to get through that then we can start kind of leaning into it and see what the LS3 has to offer just a fabulous car and also where I purchased this car at Medved Chevrolet they did an awesome job working the deal for us uh, always an awesome experience there at Medved Kyle he was the one that uh, helped us out this time just a fabulous dealership. Go and see them down there at Medved because they know how to get the deals done correctly. I'm going to be doing a comparison between the G8 and the SS because they're both amazing cars. And when the G8 does go up for sale, I'm going to put a video up uh, showing you guys what's on the car and possibly if you guys would be interested in purchasing the G8. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely check out the rest of the channel and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching guys and have an awesome day.